discipleship, if you look at the example of Jesus, it's an actual day-to-day -day the word in Portuguese is convivio. In English would be living, almost living together. Not necessarily in the same home, but a direct contact. All the time in contact with that person. And uh, so the idea is, is to reproduce the character of Jesus in your disciple. Your character may have flaws, but Jesus' character does not have flaws. So if we can reproduce the character of Jesus in our disciple, then we've been a good discipler. In my own personal life, my father was my one-on-one -on -one discipler. And the vision that I have today, the calling that I have today, was imparted from my discipler, my father. After my father passed away, God used several other different great men of God so that I could be accountable to them and so that they could speak into my life, correct me where I was wrong. If it were not for one-on-one -on -one discipleship, I guarantee you that I would not be where I am today serving the Lord. I would be a miserable wreck. And I've seen this with my disciples as well. People that were lost, completely lost. Today, winning people for Jesus, making other disciples as well, planning other churches. Jesus never said to pray for the harvest field. No, we pray for workers. And there's only one way that we can raise up workers, and that is through discipleship. We've seen through the, through the centuries so many big moves of God, many hundreds, thousands of people getting saved, and then within a few short generations, it's all gone, it disappears. Why? Because they did not make disciples that truly lasted. So my father passed away, I was 13 years old. He's gone. Someday I'm going to be gone. If Jesus doesn't return first, I'm going to leave too. I'm going to die. But who am I going to leave? I want to leave a generation of disciples who will make disciples better than I can. That way we will have a great move of God that won't end. In fact, it'll usher in the return of our Lord Jesus.